Welcome to a new episode of Daily Dose of Medicine. In this episode, we are going to talk about rosacea. It's an important skin condition. Stay with us to learn more about this topic. Let's get started. Rosacea is a common dermatological condition that causes reddening and inflammation of the skin. And it's generally central. You can see inflammation and reddening around the cheeks, nose, and chin. And in severe cases, skin lesions may form and lead to disfigurements. And rosacea may look similar to acne, but the difference is comedons. In acne, you can see comedons. In rosacea, there is no comedons. And rosacea is generally more central, as we said earlier. And comedons are small, flesh-colored acne papules, and you can find them on the right side. The disease is more common in females and middle-aged individuals with fair skin. And some causes of rosacea are genes, because rosacea often runs in families, And blood vessels are important because the redness on your skin might due to problems with blood vessels in your face. And some damage could cause them to get wider, which makes it easier for other people to see them. And mites and smoking and other factors. And the disease presents with central facial erythema, telangiectasias and papules and pustules. And what is papules? Papules develop when white heads or black heads cause so much irritation that they damage some of the surrounding skin. And pustules are larger, tender bumps with a defined circular center. And rosacea patients will feel burning or stinging over the affected area occasionally. And a number of factors can trigger flare-ups, for example, hot fetter, hot drinks, spicy food, stress, alcohol, nicotine, emotions, exercise, drugs that dilate blood vessels, for example, blood pressure medications, and various cosmetic products can trigger this. And dietary change may play a role in therapy of rosacea, because certain foods and beverages may act as triggers for rosacea. And those foods are hot beverages, spicy foods, dairy, alcohol. And there isn't a cure for rosacea, but the treatments can help you manage the redness, bumps, and other symptoms. And for mild disease, We are generally recommending the avoidance of triggers. And for more severe disease, your doctor may suggest these medicines. Premonidin, azelaic acid, metronidazole, and lastly, isotretinoin. But don't use isotretinoin if you are pregnant because it can cause serious birth defects. Without treatment for your skin, rosacea can become more noticeable. For example, the long-lasting flushing can become permanent redness on your face. And lastly, spider veins may appear on your cheeks. Some people develop acne-like breakouts. And that is the summary of rosacea. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel, and you can watch and other videos of mine from Skin Playlist, and see you on the next videos.